this discussion of liquid text versus uh, PDF expert. So let's go to liquid our iPad here. And you see, I have basically the same, more or less the same project open on the iPad that I did on, uh, on my Windows machine. And of course, we also have PDF expert with the same uh, petition document opened as well. So let's uh, talk about some of the compa a little comparison between the two. So let's start with highlighting. Well, highlighting is very basic, of course, and uh, PDF expert, of course, lets you highlight. And at the same time, we can go over to liquid text. And of course, liquid text lets you simply, simply select some text and highlight as well. Now we, let's talk about inking. We'll go over to PDF expert. And of course, we can go to inking and we can draw some ink on the document. And of course, we can go over to liquid text and we can do the same thing, draw some ink on the document. What about text boxes? Well, uh, for text boxes, for example, we can, let's go to a fresh page here. We can create a text box like that in liquid text, more or less the same. We can go create a text box, move it around. Uh, what about comments? Well, in PDF Expert, uh, if you want to have a comment on a particular piece of text, you'd need to go to your highlight, select it. Oops. Rather, you need to turn this off, then select your highlight, then click note and write my comment. Not bad. Then we go to liquid text, a little bit of a different model. I select some text and I can just start typing my comment. And liquid text actually gives you the option right there in the context menu. And I can just press return and look at that. It creates my comment straight away, right attached to the document. One of the nice things about liquid text comments though, is you can actually see them uh, as you continue to work with the document. But okay, just a slightly different model there. Uh, then bookmarks. Well, as you would expect, uh, PDF Expert has bookmarks. You simply go up here, go to the bookmarks tab, and you can just select add bookmark. See, and it adds a bookmark right there. Liquid text is a little bit of a different model. And I know what a lot of you are thinking. We don't have bookmarks. Well, actually, uh, we, we, uh, we have added bookmarks. They're going to be coming out uh, in probably about two, two and a half weeks. What I'm showing you here is a pre-release version. Uh, we're, uh, we're, we're uh, working on it. But uh, I figured uh, I'd give you all a sneak preview of it. So let's say I want to add a bookmark over here to, let's say, this point about the Gazette of India. Well, I could just select it and just click bookmark. And voila, it adds a bookmark right there. One of the nice things about these bookmarks, though, is, like, is they actually can appear in line uh, with your table of contents if you'd like them to. We can also add tags to them and so on, but similar idea. Okay, now let's, let's things start to get a little bit more different. Let's say we want to show two different pages of this document in PDF Expert. Well, this is actually doable, a little bit trickier, but we can drag over here. And now we create a second PDF Expert window. And now I can go find my recent documents down here. And I can open this document in a second window and scroll to the page I want. And so I can, it's a little awkward, but I can effectively compare uh, two different pages of the same document. In liquid text though, it's actually really easy. You can just squeeze the document like this and bring up the two pages side by side, just like that. If you want to compare things that are further away, you can just drag one of the little thumbs on the scroll bar to compare any pages that you want. Again, pretty easy. Okay. Uh, now let's say you want to see all of your highlighted materials together. Well, in PDF Expert, you would do that by going up here and going to your annotations. And you see, you can see the highlights. It's nice. Uh, by contrast, in Liquid Text, we have a little bit of a different model. Here, you would turn on Highlight View. When you turn on Highlight View and you squeeze the document, all of your highlights come together. Highlight and tag text comes together just like this. If you squeeze apart, you see more context. If you squeeze together, you see the overview. It's an incredibly powerful dynamic visualization 
for seeing the most important information in your document with just as much context as you need and just where you need it. So if I say, I think this purple point is important, I just squeeze a part around it to get the details. If not, just squeeze back together and just go through them to figure out what's gonna be most helpful for me. All right, so what about text search? Well, as you would expect, uh, PDF Expert has a solid text searching engine. We could search for, let's say, harm. And of course, it uh, uh, finds 16 matches and gives you little previews of them here, very nice. Liquid Text, of course, has a little bit of a different model for that. If we want to search, well, first of all, we don't even have to hit a search button. We can just start typing arm, press return, and it finds the results. But just as I showed you earlier, you can pinch to bring them all together for search results as well. And this is incredibly powerful. This is personally one of my favorite features of the app because it lets me, in effect, pivot my document on a word or a phrase to find the one that's going to be most helpful for me with just as much context as I need. All right, excellent. Now let's talk about OCR. Uh, if you already saw how I can OCR a document, it's pretty easy. You just hit the three dots and you have an OCR option right there in the menu. PDF Expert does not actually, as far as I can tell, does not actually offer OCR on their iPad app, only on their Mac app. So can't really compare that. Next, uh, if we go over to PDF Expert, Let's suppose we've gone through and we've made a bunch of markups and highlights on this document, but on, on this uh, petition. But let's say tomorrow I get a new copy of the petition that has several more annexures added to it. And now I need to work on that one. Well, what do I do? Do I have to copy all my highlights and everything over? Well, unfortunately, in PDF Expert, it's a real pain. I would have to redo all my highlights and markup and everything. But in Liquid Text, we actually have something called document replacement. If you get a new version of this petition with more pages added to it, you can simply go to replace document, provide the new version of the document, and Liquid Text will use computer vision to find the mapping between the old document and the new one and simply move your annotations from the old document right over to the new one right here in the same Liquid Text project. Okay. So what about uh, tagging? Well, one of the nice things with Liquid Text is uh, you're not limited only to highlights. Any piece of text that you select you can actually go over to tags here and you can tag it. Now I've created a few already, but you can create as many tags as you want. So see, create, simply tag with evidence. Then later, if I click it, it shows evidence. And the beauty of this is if I wanna see all the pieces of evidence in this document, I can just do a search for evidence, search for tags, liquid text finds all the results. And of course, just squeeze and you bring them all together. Now I see everything tagged with evidence all at the same time, right in my document. And of course, tags also work on excerpts. I can select an excerpt here, go to tags and select evidence as well. By contrast, PDF Expert doesn't really have the concept of tagging. Um, their documentation says you can tag files, uh, which is kind of different, but I actually couldn't figure out how to get that to work. So that may just be me. But in any event, certainly text within the document, there is no conception of tagging. Okay. Uh, now let's, but let's take this a little bit further. Uh, let's say I wanted to add a few more documents to a project. Well, uh, in Liquid Text, as you know, you simply click Add Document, and you can import documents from a variety of different sources. Uh, and of course, you can organize them here into folders as part of this project with the common workspace. In PDF Expert, well, there's no counterpart to that. You don't even have the concept of a project. Okay, so. This is, uh, th this is kind of why it's a little unfair to talk about Liquid Text versus PDF Expert. In a lot of ways, they're very different products. They're, they're trying to, you know, Liquid Text can, uh, can, can be your PDF reader, but uh, PDF Expert really can't be your Liquid Text. So, because ultimately in a trial, you're not simply listing facts, right? You're trying to build an argument. You're trying to show how facts and evidence and rulings and law come together to entail a conclusion. So this is why, let's get to the real, you know, the real heart of the difference here. Liquid Text isn't just a document analysis system. It's not even just a document reader. Liquid Text is a fusion of document analysis and note-taking. And so we have this wonderful workspace on the side where you can gather and organize all your notes. There is nothing at all like that, of course, in PDF Expert. So 
Likewise, the concept of links. So for example, as you saw, I can create links just by drawing a line between my notes and my documents. And likewise, between one document and another. These are incredibly powerful features that really let you find information quickly, but PDF Expert has nothing like that. Now, I don't want it to seem like I'm putting PDF Expert down by any means. I think it's actually a good product. I know the guys there and PDF Expert is uh, a very solid PDF reader. If you need to fill out a form or other basic use cases, it will support you quite well. But if you need to take notes or build an argument, uh, it's not that PDF Expert is bad. It's just the wrong product. Liquid Text, like I mentioned a minute ago, is more than a PDF reader. It's a reading and note-taking system integrated into a single seamless experience. It lets you build an argument by connecting the facts, ideas, and information you need in order to make your case. Okay, so uh, I could go on, but I think I think you will get the idea.